treasure. No, 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 you didn't read down the bottom there, the last paragraph. They'll believe it all right if you tell them that you've lost your interest in chemicals, you don't care about working here anymore, and you're, uh, you're going to Europe. Oh. I've got to calm my people down around here, Roger. I've got to get rid of this rumor, this silly fear that the sale of the company is going to endanger their jobs. It's not. It's not going to change anything around here. Except at the top. Because besides being president of Stanford Chemical, you would also be the big man in the conglomerate now, wouldn't you? No, no. It, it isn't just me, Roger. Yeah, and what about your vice president? I mean, how long is Logan going to last when they find out how he opposed you? He thinks the sale of this company is criminal. Me, okay, I, I don't matter. I didn't inherit enough stock, but Aunt Dory did. And I tell you, you haven't persuaded her yet. Why can't you get her to give you control? It's almost six o'clock, Mr. Buckner. The roads will be wet and we've got a long drive. Yes, let's get out of here. I thought there'd be something else. Yes, there is. Now, Roger, I've been very patient with you down through these past several years, all the trouble you've caused here. But enough is enough. Percy. Item. I found the place where you gamble in Vegas. Now, this is a letter from a handwriting expert that will swear you forged your own signature. Oh, D.L., now this. It's really beneath you. Go on, Percy. Item. The drug thing in college. Item. The mess in Acapulco and, uh, this is a photo stat of that uh, car theft report. <laughs> oh, Quincy, I tell you, you are superb. Yeah, you really are, you know. You, you are the best combination chauffeur and private detective in the business. But tonight, I want you to go see your Aunt Dory. Tell her you don't care about working here anymore. You're quitting. And tomorrow, you release that statement to the press. Otherwise, I'm afraid I'll... I'll have to show her all this. You really would, wouldn't you? I would. But you know, D.L., <clears throat> I have been well aware of what you and Quincy have been up to the past couple of months, and, uh... <sighs> well, seeing you've got my back up against the wall... You win. You're, uh, gonna give up this easily? I just know when, uh, I'm outclassed. Huh. I'll sign it tonight. <clears throat> anyway, I mean, uh, who wants a chemical company? Ah, <laughs> hey, gentlemen. Uh, oh, Roger. Good Hello, gentlemen. Junior. Hi. Oh, and, uh, good night, Uncle David. Uh, <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Come on, gentlemen. Junior. Mm. Well... Oh, don't worry. They haven't sick Quincy onto you yet. If only you didn't feel it necessary to play the fool so much. Hmm. What was it this time? Oh, it's nothing. Really, no, no, it's nothing at all. Except, well, we have decided that it is time for people to stop calling me Junior around here. Roger, should we see each other later? Why not? Yeah, I've got this little job to do first, but... Uh, it shouldn't take very long. Wasting your time, Fergie. It's gonna rain. Good night, Junior. <laughs> oh, oh, Fergie, I am sorry. But I forgot to tell you this morning, but could you look under my hood? I think I've got a loose plug wire or something. Huh? Uh. Thanks. Oh, you have missed a spot here, Fergie. My uncle will not like that.
You're crazy, Junior. The wiring's okay. Hose clamp needs tightening a little, that's all. It does? Well, now, how did that get loose? Oh, don't worry, Fergie. I don't want you to miss your nickel tip. One more thing. 